what can actually I talk about six things that I'm going to talk about today that can really help you pursue your passion. When you are passionate about something, you can always find out for your time of waking up regularly can actually give you a lot of time to follow your passion. If you are having a passion, it should never feel like work. I attended the Readers Are Readers book meeting about two months back and I was thinking, what if I'm invited as a keynote? What can I talk about? I have not written a book. I am not a speech contest champion. What can I really do? And yeah, as they say, what you wish for actually happens. So two weeks after that, Apu sent me a text that, would you like to be a keynote speaker? That's a golden opportunity. How could I miss that? So I said, yes, I'll figure it out. I thought about it and I thought, what can actually I talk about? And I thought about what have I done this year that could be of real interest to all the people joining today and also watching on YouTube. So I thought about my journey in this earlier this year. In year 2020, as you know, has been, yeah, let's say that, amazing. So at the start of the year 2020, I was supposed to travel to UK and I did travel. My club members gave me a pretty good farewell. The cake was yummy. And I came in on February 23rd, 2020 in UK. And many of you know, one week after that, there was a complete lockdown because of all this virus. And as with most of us, I also felt bad. What can I actually do? I can't go outside. I can't do anything. That too in a new country. So I thought, let's, if we can't go outside, let's try to pursue some passion. Some of the things which I have not been able to do in a long time, because you know, we all are busy. We don't have time. We have so many things to do. Now we didn't have that excuse. So I thought of pursuing those passion and during those, I discovered a few key things that I think if you apply would also help you. Now, I'm not a believer of having too many PPT slides. So I thought, let's have some activity for all of you. So let's go to menti.com. I'm also putting in the code in the chat box and put this code and we'll have some fun. So once you join, you will see a question what is that one word which comes when we talk about passion? What do you think is that one word which will define your passion? Please type in that and let's see, it should probably bring a word cloud. I hope people are able to enter. Okay, it's coming up. Love, enjoyment. Wow. Effortless, discipline, self-motivation, content, YouTube, creativity. Amazing, amazing. Interest, I saw Gita, I'm putting it in chat. Enthusiasm, dedication. Wow. This is getting bigger and better. So what you see is here, love, motivation or self-motivation. I mean, I feel if you are having a passion, it should never feel like work. Sometimes for people, the work is their passion and that we can't define it as work. But at times you have other hobbies, other pursuits that becomes your passion. And thank you so much for putting in all. Now we have one more question. And I promise that's going to be the last one. 
have you ever faced challenge pursuing your passion Five, seven, yes, yes. All right, not sure. I would like to meet that person after this meeting, but the jokes apart. And I, I would definitely like to meet that person who never faced any challenge because that would be somebody I would look up to. When you think about pursuing your passion, most of the time there is some or other challenges come up. And if that was not the case, I would really love to listen and know about that. Now, uh, let me come back to PPT. I am an IT professional. I'm supposed to have PPTs. That is our dharma. So when I think about passion, there are six things that I'm going to talk about today that can really help you pursue your passion. And some of them may have a couple of things within that. Uh, so feel free to take what you like and for rest of the things you can blame me. The very first thing I think about is mentoring. If you are passionate about reading or writing or cricket or speeches, you need to do mentoring and mentoring comes in two parts. The first one is getting mentors. In my uh, Toastmaster career and otherwise I had the opportunity to have you know, different mentors from across the geographies. And I feel that whatever I do or whatever I've done, it, it's all possible because I was having a mentor or a number of mentors with me who guided me at every step of time. But having a mentor and after a certain point of time is not enough because you need, and we are in a community, you need to give it back. So you also need to be someone's mentor. These are three people who I mentored when I joined back in this is Noida 6 and there have been a few more in, in different clubs. So mentoring, I think, is one of the very important things. And when you are facing challenges while trying to pursue your passion, the mentor could be the one person that could really help you drive and find out what exactly is the challenge and how you can pursue it better. Now, the second thing that can help you is connecting with friends. Now, when I say connecting with friends, you some of you might feel like uh, this is cliche. Friends, we all know we need to connect with friends. So I thought, let me spice it up. And I'll say, connect with non-human friends. And let me clarify, I'm not a pet person. I'm not going to talk about cats or dogs. I don't adore them, but I don't hate them either. I'm going to talk about connecting with some old friends. For me, my old friends were connecting with the books. These are the books that I have read in 2020. Some of them are in process and about to finish. Uh, but to me, 2020 was about getting and reconnecting to old friends and at the same time, making friends with some new friends and which are number one podcast. Now, I discovered this uh, earlier this year, the podcasting. I, I did not know much about that, but since I discovered it, I've got obsessed with it. I mean, I spent at least 20, 30, 40 minutes every day going through different types of podcasts, uh, learning from different leaders and, and different motivators. It could be related to finances, related to motivation, related to presentation skills, uh, but it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. And the third, which is, which should be common for a lot of reader, leaders or readers club is the audio books, the digital version or audio version of the books uh, I have read, I mean, if I talk about my favorite book, I have uh, The Secret that I've heard at least three times, uh, The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. That's an amazing book I've read at least, I uh, heard at least two times so far. And another piece, if you want to know more about financial freedom, that's a book called Financial Peace uh, by Dave Ramsey, uh, uh, amazing person back in US. So a lot of new friends I've made, non-human new friends to say. So that is the second thing that can help you pursue your passion. Now, what could be the next thing that can help you pursuing your passion? And that is trying out new things. Now, during this Corona or this lockdown, we were not supposed to go out, but that did not stop us to try new things. As you can see, we had special combined meetings where Toastmasters from across the world joined, from US, UK, India joined, 
we also uh, i started uh, pursuing the youtube and then i got into instagram and then started some live instagram so this whole uh, 8 to 10 months has been an experimental mode and i think that has really helped me to grow to what i am and that is what the mas- message i want to give it to you uh, try keep trying new things if you are passionate about something you can always find out so if you are passionate about dancing you can try out garba then you can also try about bhangra you can also try kathakali to find out what exactly you are more passionate about or is there something that you really want to try more and learn more about so that's the third message that i have for you if you want to pursue your passion now what could be the fourth thing now this uh, any 5 uh, am club members here i know many of you know about robin sharma's 5 am club and i'm also part of i try to wake up at least on 5 days out of 7 days to about 4:30 to 5 and that has been an absolute game changer for me uh, for last one year or so uh, my morning ritual and it's my morning ritual you don't have to follow that is that waking up reading about 30 minutes listening to some podcast doing some sort of journaling and then i'm trying to learn learn french uh, my plan was to go to paris to attend toastmaster conference uh, which got cancelled and i still didn't learn french but i'm trying the point here is that uh, when you wake up an hour early you don't have to really wake up at 5 am and one hour early before your natural before your time of waking up regularly can actually give you a lot of time to follow your passion if your passion is reading if your passion is writing if your passion is uh, doing some more learning new skills that one hour or that 45 minute could be enough for you to go and do your whole day and then come back next day and do that so now here i have a quick tip for people who find that waking up early is little difficult this is one thing i've tried and hope hope you may might also try whenever you're putting an alarm in the phone don't put your phone next to you put it at least 8 to 10 feet away from your bedside so if it is and put the most shrilling or or whatever uh, you feel that uh, this is really irritating uh, sound you have to put that and when you put it about 8 to 10 feet away you actually have to walk 6 7 8 feet to reach there and once you do that it becomes really easy for you uh, to actually wake up and difficult for you to actually go back and and sleep again uh, when it is an arms reach it's very easy to snooze or cancel and sometimes you feel like i'll wake up an hour early and then you wake up two hours late so that's my quick tip uh, it's taken by mel robbins he she says that put your phone in bathroom i'm not going to recommend that but at least keep it 8 to 10 feet away that would help you now another thing that has helped me in pursuing my passion is scheduling your calendar now i i know i am guilty uh, when i was a kid or when i was studying we we friends used to make friend uh, fun of lot of westerners that they uh, schedule their time for pet walking grocery shopping and others but what i've discovered over time is when you put things in your calendar it actually works because then it is out of your mind and you can any time go and check uh, and especially for people who are working and having these zoom meetings and other things if you put something in your calendar it really helps you uh, schedule and plan your day that that has been my key uh, as many of you know i am attending so many zoom meetings and i also have a full time job and also need to talk to my family so i try to put as much things uh, in my calendar as possible so that one i don't have to find the zoom link when leaders are leaders meeting is starting and number two is that it's easy for me to find out which are the slots i can really use for myself and which are the slots which has to be dedicated for office works so that's my tip number 5 and coming to last tip which is tip number 6 is mind mapping now this is more for when you are trying some creative pursuits uh, for example you are giving a keynote or you are trying to draw something you are trying to write a book uh, having a mind map actually enables you to think in various direction while having the base idea so if you see this was one keynote i gave about 2 years back in district 11 uh, one and a half year back uh, and the point was that uh, how do you um, increase the i mean how do you improve the club culture and i got one big chart paper 
and pasted in my wall and then wrote everything I could think about club culture, including how do you greet your guests? How do you make sure that people are motivated to how do you make sure that people are recognized and everything. And then eventually it turned into a presentation, uh, taking up the idea and different things. So there are different softwares also available that you can use. XMind is one of them, but uh, use those mind mapping techniques when you are in a creative pursuit that would really help you drive your passion. So before I uh, shut my mouth, uh, this is, these are the six uh, tips that I have if you want to pursue your passion. Get a mentor and be a mentor to someone. Connect with non-human friends in terms of books, podcasts, and audiobooks. Follow morning rituals. And if you are, if you are one of those who want to have an evening ritual, you're most welcome. Uh, schedule your calendar, try out new things, and use mind mapping techniques for your creative pursuits. So now at this point of time, I'll probably shut my mouth and let you ask any question if you have. Ritosh, can I come with my question? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Ritosh, uh, uh, like uh, this morning ritual, like you told six steps. So I mm -hmm. want to know, like setting up these steps and uh, like following few days may be easy. But be consistent with this step. What you suggest for that? How we can be consistent with this step for long, long time? Good question, Amit. Thank you for asking this. First of all, two things here. One is that it is my own uh, uh, morning rituals. And how I find out this is my own ritual is I tried experimenting with different things. Do I like to write first? Do I like to read first? And it keeps evolving. So I might not be reading uh, every day or I might not be. So whatever works for you, I think uh, nobody can tell you that Amit, this is your morning ritual. It, Amit has to find out what works for Amit. And I mean, to be honest, some people actually have evening rituals where we actually, they wind down and once they are done, they put their phone away and then, then read a book and then sleep. Uh, so whatever suits you, and that depends on how you want to experiment with yourself. Uh, there are a few things like if you talk about Robin Sharma's 5 a.m. club, he says that you, know, you have one hour dedicated and de divide that into three parts, uh, 20 minutes for physical workout, 20 minutes for your uh, soul or basically meditation and 20 minutes for journaling or reading books. So you might want to experiment, start with that experiment and go on to see what works for you and what doesn't. Like just, I, I want to know, how I can keep myself motivated to stick with this all thing for long run? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's a good question. And I think uh, I believe the best motivation is the self motivation, as you said earlier. Uh, and you have to really find out what works for you. Uh, having a coffee and a book is something for me, but that may not work for you. So you have to actually go into experimentation mode. When I started uh, with morning ritual, I did not have the journaling thing. And uh, now I, it's like I my first or second thing is having that journaling for five minutes and I do not follow any format. So you have to keep evolving and see what works and what doesn't work. Uh, the key message is be flexible and, and see what works for you. Uh, that, that probably is the key message. Thank you. I would uh, request everyone to come up and uh, ask questions and give their names. Yeah, please come forward. Yeah. yeah, I have a one. Yeah, yeah, one thing is my question. See, finding mentor in a Toastmaster is okay because it is a similar platform. Here we trend that we get easily mentor. But when it's coming to professional life or in other field, how mm -hmm. we can find a mentor? Because I tried to, uh, in my profession to tell that help me in this situation. But it is a very difficult to find mentor in your professional life. So uh, can you give input on this area? Okay. Uh, uh, Chandak, which profession you're part of? Sorry, I did not get that. So I'm into marketing. Marketing. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, that's a very valid question. How do you find your mentor? Uh, many of the organizations have some, their, uh, some of their own mentorship programs. Uh, one of the things would be that you reach out to your HR organization. Sometimes they do have a formal process. Otherwise, sorry, it would vary. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, see, I am not working in a corporate culture. 
i work uh-huh. in a middle uh, mediocre company so i just want you to tell me in that way only so i understand i understand that so yeah even for i mean uh, i believe you might have something related to human resources or something and if not i think one of the my first mentor was my first boss right uh, and sometime if you are open to your boss and have a candid conversation with them that no uh, see i am struggling with this and do you think you can help or more importantly can you suggest somebody which whom i can approach uh, so always reach out to probably your boss in candid conversation uh, it could also be somebody who's been there for some years somebody who's like 5 years and years years may not be directly your boss but you know he has been there for some year, uh, some time in that industry that could also be a good uh, place for you to start with um, keep it open that no you don't have to make somebody mentor uh, you can just ask them that do they know and I, if they are somebody who know they would say i would be more than happy to help or they can actually redirect you to the right, right person okay thank you thank you hello yes kanika yeah hi this is kanika so my question is that like you said um you are into um you know you ventured into creative field in this um lockdown yeah. period right yeah yeah so you know um like if i talk about myself so i am an upcoming writer i just um, published my solo book and then i i i am a co-author in several um, anthologies mm-hmm. so uh, and when when i relate to your experience like you know you said you've been a youtube creator and you've been a pod i don't think so you're podcasting right now but i think you listen to podcasts yeah i'm podcast but consumer you, yeah yeah so but you've been a youtube creator and so have been i but how do you deal with this appointment you know when your efforts do not reach do you know do not reap that fruits that you expect for example mm-hmm. my book uh it's um you know i've 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 Uh, uh you know uh, considered the reviews of some professional critics and they found it really good but then i'm being a self published author i'm not able to market it that well or the results among the masses is not that well you know so similarly if you have you ever faced this kind of thing that you've created a youtube content which is very good but it mm-hmm. is not reaching the audience that you expected so The, how do you deal with the disappointment you know then you don't feel like working yeah. on this anymore thank yeah thank you kanika that is really a wonderful question uh, as i understand the question is that you know, at times yeah, we want to we have done a lot of hard work and we do not get the desired results and how do we deal with it and and to be honest yeah, i am still dealing with it uh, i whenever i make a video which i think is going to be super hit uh, it doesn't get enough views and i i do feel motivated but at that time i think uh, when you talk uh, when you get one comment on your video for example that is more than enough for me to drive that do you have to find that you don't have to reach out to masses if i talk about a book if you can find one person who says that your book is amazing i learned something out of it or if you do not have that person imagine that who is this going, book going to help Uh, who is this going to find it useful and who is going to get his uh, her life changed because of that book that i think can give you the drive and then yeah ma- marketing of book yeah there are different uh, mechanism and i'm not an expert to that so i'm not going to venture into that but if you know your purpose behind your passion uh, sometime keeping that in mind really helps me for me yeah if i get one or two comments on my video i think that keeps me really in from keep me keep me really up to next video 